Well, this is Larry up in Brainerd, Minnesota. Going to give you a little update on the rain gutter garden. Uh, these tomatoes, these romas, these are big roma, uh, Polish roma, are looking great in Rutgers in this one. I have got a bunch of uh, broccoli, and they're looking great. There's some more. Here is one of those, I call it a Polish linguisa. Supposed to be four times larger than a Roma tomato. And I'm gonna have fun with salsa in that. Here are some, what do we got here? Honey rock cantaloupe. This is a pumpkin, it's growing nuts. We got buttercup squash, butternut squash. And here, over here I have got a whole bunch of cucumbers. All bing, 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 bing. I'm gonna trellis them up. I don't know if I'll use the chicken wire because they like to get stuck in between there. I'll probably come up with something else. I planted these a few days ago. The beans are coming up. Green beans. There's a little pickling cucumber here. Those are those little green onion tips that I cut off and planted. They have gone completely, absolutely wild. <laughs> uh, somebody told me about putting a bag over top of the seed pods here and collecting the seeds. I'm going to try that. Anyway, uh, here is a whole ton. You think I like uh, broccoli, don't you? Well, uh, yeah, I do. Here's a whole bunch of little cucumber plant pickling cucumbers and they're making little cucumbers and all kinds of stuff. There's some spinach, there's some carrots, more broccoli. Here's a mixed lettuce. Here is stevia, some thyme, basil. Here is some um, crimson sweet watermelon, more stevia, crimson sweet watermelon. There's some peppers, there's Simpson lettuce. These other tomato plants are looking great. They're really healthy, you love it. Um, some of them are um, like a patio type tomato, different ones I'm trying. These are looking real good, more of the pickling cucumbers. These have gone nuts. Then Polish and, and Rutgers. Man, I, there's a guy, I can't remember his name, and you'll know, he raises in a greenhouse. Phenomenal tomatoes, and he raises Rutgers a lot. And I got my hands on some this year, and man, I am impressed. They are a healthy, healthy looking tomato plant. And here I had a little fun. I took a five gallon pail, drilled four holes in the sides, and I put four strawberry plants around it, and then four on top. And gee, healthy as heck, looking great. We'll see how that goes. If a little dirt wants to fall out, I'll just take a little plastic and uh, insert it around the openings there to hold that in. But we'll see, so far so good. A little spinach, something's wanting to eat that. I have to put a little something out there and stop that. And here's some more pickling cue. Here's some radishes looking good. I had potatoes in these. I put some dirt. They came up about an inch and I just barely covered them because we're going to get rain here in about 10 minutes. And so I figured I'd let the natural rain cover them. And I'm going to keep adding dirt as they pop through. But that's it on the uh, rain gutter garden. It's looking... Uh, Looking pretty dang good. I got spaces open yet. What I think I'm going to do is out here, I've got some area. I'm going to fence in this, move all my pumpkin, cantaloupe, watermelon, uh, you know, those kind of vining squash, and just let them run. You know, and that way it doesn't congest it in here. I could even put some more rain good. I got, I built three more, so I got 13 of them now. And I think I got enough lumber and floats and everything. And yeah, I do. I uh, to build 16. I'm going to probably build 16 of them, but uh, yeah, I'm having fun, uh, looking good. Hey, this is Larry, I'm Brainerd. Ciao.